Hey YouTube, what's going on? Just a quick video to give you my four months of usage with the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, overall, my experience with this phone over the past four months have been absolutely great. However, there were a couple of issues that I had with the device that really, really got on my nerves really bad. But I'll, I'll discuss those later. All right, first, all the positive stuff. So first thing, I really like the design of this phone and this color, you know, this, this green. I mean, it's kind of bluish green, but I really love this color. And I love the design, you know, with the cameras centered. You know, everybody's throwing the cameras on the left. You know, Google just put theirs all the way across the whole phone, you know, the back. But I really like the cameras being centered. You know, that's my ideal placement for the cameras. But, you know, overall design of the phone, I really have enjoyed it along with that color. <clears throat> and of course, my favorite thing about the OnePlus 8 Pro, period, is this display. This 6.78 inch Quad HD Fluid AMOLED display with HDR10 plus this display is one of the best displays i have on any of my smartphones by far seriously i mean it's absolutely beautiful it has vibrant punchy colors they're sharp the, the display gets super bright it's just absolutely beautiful then when you add in the 120 hertz refresh rate when you're scrolling and going in and out of apps is so smooth and then you got this 90% screen to body ratio. You only got this one little punch hole at the top and you just got all screen, no bezels whatsoever. And that motion graphic smoothing when you're watching uh, videos, I mean, it just makes the screen look so outstanding. I mean, really. I mean, when you're checking this out, look, see, see you're saying it, motion graphic smoothing starting. It just makes everything look super real. Like it's coming through the screen. Um, the speakers on this phone are second to none. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're just great. They're nice and loud. Nice stereo sound. I mean, the display is by far my favorite uh, part of this whole device. Now, of course, when it comes to um, battery life, the battery life is still great. I get for me, now, battery life is always going to be subjective. Depending on how you use your phone, everybody uses their phone different. As you can see right here at the top, see, I'm almost at 100% brightness. <laughs> Most people are not going to use their phone like that. Most people are going to have it <clears throat> probably somewhere between 50 to 70%. But I like my device to be, super, my display to be super bright. That's just me. But even with it being super bright, now, keep this in mind. Let me explain to you just how good this battery life is. So my brightness is almost 100%. I'm using the motion graphic smoothing wicket, which definitely makes the screen a lot smoother, so that uses up more battery. I'm using it at Quad HD plus resolution and the 120 hertz, and, <laughs> and I'm getting close to 500 notifications a day. I'm on YouTube a few hours a day, I'm watching movies on this off and on all day. I'm getting a day and a half. So that's impressive. So I'm really using a phone at max. You know, pretty much I'm using everything it offers. Um, so I'm getting a day and a half with heavy usage. That's heavy usage for me. Now I get on Facebook and Instagram briefly, but they don't really take a lot of battery because I'm just basically scrolling through there looking at different things. So not really a big deal, but YouTube, watching movies, I do that a lot. Seriously, a whole lot. So this phone's battery life is really, really great. Now, as far as performance is concerned, no issues with performance, still super smooth, um, no lag whatsoever. Snapdragon 865 is great on here. No performance issues at all is running great. Now, the always on display, of course, I like that. You know, I'm glad they finally brought it back. And I love that. Now, even now, that's the only thing I, that irritates me is that you can't keep the fingerprint sensor on to always see where it's at. But, you know, just like Samsung does. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's a software thing that they can change. I wish they would give us the option 
to keep it on so we'll always know where that knows where it is where it's at excuse me so i don't have to guess now i just happen to nail it <clears throat> but um i love always on display it's not the best always on display out there but it does what it needs to do as far as the time the date the day battery percentage and your notifications so it's not one of the best but it's it's, it's, it's fairly decent now the fingerprint sensor um was an issue for me um i just got an update from uh one plus probably over the weekend and it did improve it um it's still you know not as perfect as the 7t pro but it's definitely better than what it was now I'm, I'm just being serious the fingerprint sensor on here prior to that update i just got it was terrible it was very inaccurate it still needs a little bit more work because i'm still having issues um using it on my banking app where it's not you know it's not reading my fingerprint accurately but it's definitely better than what it was it was trash um just you know you know when i first got this device it was absolute trash so hopefully another update will make it even better all right next <clears throat> the dual stereo speakers on here like i talked about they sound really good they're nice and loud nice full stereo punchy sound really really good night and day from the oneplus 7t pro seriously that's how good they are um, of course, the 30 watt charging is decent. You know, there's other phones out here that are way faster, but it's it's, it's decent. Now, the 30 watt wireless charging is kind of disappointing to me. It's not as fast, nowhere near as fast as my Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G, and that's 30 watt fast charging also. But it charges so much faster than the 30 watt warp charging on this, the wireless charging. It's just it takes like an hour and 15 minutes to fully charge this phone with a 30 watt uh, wireless charging stand. And I'm not saying that's horrible, but when you get used to something else that's so much faster and it's supposed to be the same wattage, you look at this and be like, this is kind of slow. So it is what it is. <laughs> All right. The, the three watt reverse wireless charging is really not even worth using because three watts is a joke. So I don't even use that. It's, no, it's just no point. Uh, the face unlock works pretty well. Um, not as fast as my Mi 10 Pro, but it works. It works fairly good, as you can see, right, right behind the camera. So it works pretty fast. So no problem with the face unlock. Now, the cameras. I did a full review when it comes to the cameras. The cameras on here are really great, day and night. Um, you can check out my full review on it. The cameras on this phone are the best I've ever used on a OnePlus device. They are very, very impressive. And of course, you know, you have a kind of like a camera hump, but you know, you put a case on it, it's not a problem. You got your four um, sensors on the back. Now you got this color filter, that's an absolute joke. Nobody uses that, you don't need that. So the main things are these three cameras, you know, your telephoto, your ultra wide and your main, <clears throat> those are the ones and they shoot really, really great um, video and uh, photos. So I'm very impressed with the camera on here. So my um, other thing that I was having issue with, and I already talked about the fingerprint sensor, but when I used to go into YouTube, right, for some reason there used to be a little X up in the corner, which I don't know why it was there. It's not like that on any other Android phone that I have. And there were times, and it happened quite often, when I would turn the video on and you see this stuff here right now, but what happened, it would stay there and literally play through the whole video. Like this stuff would not go away. So I couldn't really see clearly the video I was looking at. And like, I don't know what it was. I went in the settings on YouTube. I changed it thinking, you know, it worked better. It worked for a minute. Then as soon as I went to another video, it did the same thing where this wouldn't, I just couldn't get it to go away. Unless I totally reset the phone, not reset it, like turn the phone off and turn it back on. So restart the phone. That was so frustrating. I could not even enjoy YouTube on here because of that. So what happened was YouTube pushed out an update over the weekend as well. And now it's not a problem. Every time I start a video, it just fades away and it acts normal now. So there's no issue as far as that's concerned anymore. I can watch my videos without any disruption. But that's something that really, really got on my nerves, like really, really bad. So my biggest two issues with this device for the four months that I've had it 
was the fingerprint sensor, which is better, but it's not still not where it should be. And the YouTube, um, YouTube, when, you know, I could not get that to go away. It just kept coming back when I was trying to watch videos. So those are the only two issues. Other than that, the phone has worked phenomenal, super fast, super smooth, awesome display, great battery life, great speakers. And I forgot to mention the audio through the USB Type-C port, night and day from the 7T Pro. I mean, really, really impressive. I'm very impressed with the quality of sound you get to, through the USB Type-C port. I wish it was a headphone jack instead, but it's still good nonetheless. And like I said, performance has been great. The cameras are great. You know, I love the size of the phone. I, I love the, the thin bezel, like really no bezels really at all. I really pretty much like everything about this phone except the fingerprint sensor. That's the only issue I really have with this device is the fingerprint sensor because the YouTube thing has been rectified. So just right now, it's just the fingerprint sensor needs to be improved. But like I said, I do miss the headphone jack. And it would have been nice if they at least gave us some headphones. It would have been nice, but it is what it is. But at least they do give you a charger. So <laughs> kudos to OnePlus on that for putting a charger in the dang box. All right. So that was my four month review of the OnePlus 8 Pro. You can still get this right now for a really good price on uh, eBay. And I say, if you're a OnePlus fan, this is definitely worth picking up. I wouldn't pick up the 9 Pro because it's not that much better than this. Honestly, the cameras are slightly improved, but that was pretty much it. And you get a slightly bigger battery, but everything else is pretty much the same, honestly. So I would highly, highly recommend this device. <clears throat> it's very close to stock Android um, with more customizations. So honestly, you'll absolutely love this phone. If you decide to pick it up, you will love it. Great cameras. Great display, great battery life, great overall performance. So if those are the key things that matter to you, definitely consider the OnePlus 8 Pro. All right, thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there is staying well and safe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.